Hi, I'm Aaron Dorman, Coolidge Reporter, and this is Pinal Central's Backstory, where we give you a behind-the-scenes look at the latest news coverage. Sometimes there is an exploratory dynamic to journalism, and the best stories are some of the least expected. This weekend, I went to Randolph uh, for a Juneteenth celebration. All I had seen was there was a Facebook post, and I figured, without knowing anything else about it, that this would be an interesting thing to cover, and my Instincts were uh, thankfully uh, correct. It was a really nice event. There were about 50 or 60 people at least. Randolph, if it isn't the original, it is one of the earliest African-American communities in Pinal County. Now, there is a book available either at the Coolidge Library or other places that was written about uh, Randolph and and African-Americans moving to Pinal County called Not All Okies Are White. So the event itself had several vendors. It was catered by Bubba's Barbecue in Casa Grande, which was delicious, and uh, had a bunch of uh, performances, which I wasn't expecting. Um, some local community leaders and stuff gave speeches about Juneteenth. Uh, there were kids dancing and uh, and singing. But one thing that didn't make it into the story was there was, because I, he never gave me his last name, but I was given a tour, an unofficial tour of Randolph and the event by a man named Larry, uh, who was 61 years old, and he still lives in Randolph. Anyway, Larry took me around to everybody and was basically forcing them to take pictures for the newspaper, so that's why I was able to get a number of photographs that I was happy with with people uh, looking directly into the camera and, and, and smiling. Um, sometimes the candid's uh, reporters get are either surprised or you get kind of glares. Another note was I, w- I was able to walk around the remains of St. Paul's Church, which burned down in January. I did a long feature on that. That was a church that dated back to the 1930s in the, the original Randolph community. And so I was really sad. They didn't have insurance. And so right now, uh, the only thing that remains is the walls. And they mentioned that they've been having trouble figuring out what to do with it. But they they were still in the process of trying to solicit donations. Once again, this was Pinal Central's backstory. For our story on the Randolph Juneteenth event, as well as a photo spread, you can check out our website, pinalcentral.com.